Hey everyone, and welcome to this video. So, today I'm going to be showing you this 2005 GMC Sierra. Now this is a rather uncommon package in my area, and I've only seen a few around. It is a crew cab with the 5'7 bed, I think it is. With the 5.3 liter V8, the Z71 off-road package, and the SLT trim level. Nice package, nice truck, perfect family truck. We'll get on in and start it up to start the video. And this truck is rather low kilometers. It only has 191, 395 kilometers on it. Starts right up, runs great. We'll, crack, we'll open up the driver window just in case. We'll put on the heated seats. We will unlock all the doors, pop the hood, and it does also have auto headlights, but we will turn on the headlights and the fog lights and the rear domes just to show them off. So looking at it, this color is a dark blue. I don't know GM's name of it. It looks almost black on the camera, but it is actually dark blue. With these nice looking fender flares, <coughs> chrome running boards, and Michelin LTX light truck tires wrapped on 265-70 R17 aluminum wheels. Very nice designed aluminum wheels. A, a bit of corrosion, but very nicely designed and could be restored back to their former beauty. We'll move back again a little more just to get a better shot of it. You'll see a chrome rub strip down the side of the truck. And as you see, this does have the short bed, which is only five foot seven. <laughs> it's not overly short, but it's certainly not a work truck. It's still a very nice truck though. You do also have an OEM tonneau cover. It says GMC on it. Open this up. You do have your plastic bed liner in here. And I'm not quite sure how you open this up. I think it's... Honestly, I don't know. This one I'm not really too sure on. But still, either way, you have a tonneau cover with this truck. You also have a chrome bumper and your 7-pin trailer hitch wiring pre-installed with a hitch. Nice. Really nice looking truck. Love these crew cab GM trucks. This generation of crew cab I think looks the best. The best. Let's check out under the hood. It does have a bug deflector and we'll, we'll just show the front first. As you can see you have the fog lights in the lower portion of the bumper, your chrome bumper, chrome surround grille with your halogen headlights. We'll open up the hood now. And as you can see, you have your 5.3 liter V8 here, which puts out, just a second, let me pull that up. Okay, 295 horsepower at 5,200 RPMs and 335 foot-pounds of torque at 4,000 RPMs. Quite a good power plant here for that power at least. And for fuel economy, it's not on the great side. It's at 13 miles per gallon in the city and 17 miles per gallon on the highway. So it could be better in fuel mileage, but this is an earlier 2000s truck and none of them were really all that fantastic on fuel then. A lot of room in this engine bay. Runs real nice, runs real quiet. We'll head on to the interior now. And we'll check that out. 
There is no key slot in this door for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> but as you can see, it has the gray interior. Door handle pull right here. Your power heated seats. Your power is right there. Your heated seats are right there. Power windows. Window lock. Mirrors. Manual locks. You have your Bose audio system in this one. And you have your nice soft touch gray rubbers all over everything. Looking on in, you have the gray leather interior, which actually is in really good shape. This leather is in really good shape for the truck's age. So we'll step on into the truck now. We'll shut the door. And you can see the windows are tinted. We'll shut off the headlights, cargo lights, and the fog lights. And you can see it is four-wheel drive on the fly right here. You have auto four-wheel drive, two high, four high, and four low. Leather wrapped steering wheel with your voice activation here, I believe that is. You have your fuel mileage info, your other info for the menu through here. I think that's for the radio, actually. And your seek and volume right here. Signals and wipers are right here. Your selector is right here with tow haul mode over there on the top. For gauges, you have RPMs, speedometer, fuel, oil pressure, battery, and coolant temperature. Runs real quiet. The cab is really quiet in here, and it's actually super nice and quiet, too. Your auto headlight sensor is right up there, and you have your factory GM radio, which I believe this is 6 CD actually and you have every option you could want with this radio pretty much auto climate control as well as dual zone climate control as you can see you have a power outlet right here which is also your cigarette lighter and another power outlet right beside another storage pocket here another one right here two cup holders here with a storage pocket here and a little pocket I guess for pens there Another storage pocket there that I think they did have something to go there in that was optional, but this truck doesn't have that. Medium sized storage pocket right here with change holders and, well, it's pretty large still, and another pen holder by the looks of it. Close that up and you have another insert right here you can store stuff in. Nice. Open this up. You don't you don't have a mirror in the driver's side, but it is rather large still. And it does have a extension piece for when you have sun over here. This does also have the rain guards too. Dome lights are right there with a storage pocket right there where you would be able to get the optional compass and temperature readout there, I think. But your temperature readout and compass is actually in the mirror on this one. Along with your airbag notification light. Nice. And if I forgot to mention, you do also have the OEM rubber floor mats in this truck. Heated seats are working real well. We'll step on into the back seat of this truck now and we'll see how much room I have. And looking on in, the materials all carry through. You have the carpet down below on the door panel. You have padded rubber right here. And your padded rubber inserts here as well. Your power window switch right there. Your manual locks and your door handle there. Once again, you have the rear mats as well. And simply to lift these seats up. Uh, I've never actually lifted these ones up. Oh, it's like this one on these ones. You pull up from the back. Okay, and then you can lay this seat down like so. And that reveals also that you have a new wiper, another new wiper. Hmm. You have your jack storage and everything back here. We'll put this back right, right back down and we'll step on into the back. You have a handle right here to assist getting in and oh my gosh. This is actually super comfy. 
super cushiony, super supportive, and really nice feeling. You have a storage pocket on the back of each seat. You have, down here, two cup holders right in the center. And you have a another radio back here with headphones. Nice. And you have rear vents as well as armrests in the seat for your front seats. I never noticed that before while I was in the front seat. You have your armrest right here as well that has two cup holders as well. There's a lot of cup holders in this truck. This is a great family truck. Here's a look under the front from the back and it just it's laid out very simple but it's also laid out very nicely. It's very practical. It's very it's very much a good design. So, we'll head on over to the passenger seat now and we will see how that is. And, coming up on the passenger seat, or the passenger door, pull it open and you'll notice that all the materials still carry through. You have a large storage pocket down there, your door handle pull, your manual locks, your heated seats, your, your power locks, and your power windows with again your Bose audio system and a full powered passenger seat as well. We'll step on in. And we'll close up the door. And this is actually super comfy. Sits up nice and level, you sit up high, and well, it's super comfortable. I have tons of headroom, I have tons of leg room. And we'll open up the glove box and we'll check that out. You have your manuals and everything, which come from Leggett GM, which is located in Burlington. That is about two hours away from us right now. And so this truck is pretty local. You have your key, your lock right there for your wheels. And well, this is actually a super nice truck. I would actually pick up one of these trucks. We'll turn off the heated seats. And we'll get out and then we'll do a quick overview of the vehicle itself. So, this is a 2005 GMC Sierra Crew Cab 5'7 bed. Fog lights tinted windows, window flares, aluminum wheels, Michelin LTX mud and snow tires, 4x4, Z71 package, really nice truck, has a lot of options, and full leather interior with heated seats. Anyways, that will be all for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, favorite and share this video as well as subscribe for more. Have a great day everyone.